Everyone, welcome to the Power we'll Play with CJ. I want to focus in on the uh, Buffalo Sabres sending Sam Reinert back to the uh, Kootenai Ice, the dub. Uh, Reinert had one assist through nine games. He was minus two, minus three as well. And, uh, you know, it was a, kind of a gutsy call organizationally. Um, you know, for a team that's struggling like the Sabres, you know, you want to see your young players in the NHL. If anything, because it's self stick it sounds, you know, overly simple to say that, but that's just the bottom line. It is the bottom line, you know. People are going to pay to watch these young developing players, but the best thing for Ryan's development was to send him back to juniors, and I think it was the right call. Um, he'll dominate the dub this year. I think the, the, this is another kid that gets screwed by the AHL, NHL rule, where, or the CHL, AHL rule, where I think he'd be better suited playing against men and you know taking his game to the next level that way. But you know what? It, rules are rules. You know, they kinda, they've gotten screwed with Grigorenko over it, so it's twice they've had a prospect get burned by that rule. But... You know, I think he'll um, you know, he'll go to the World Juniors. He'll dominate. You know, that's obviously a good thing. And, um, you know, they, they played nine games. which doesn't burn the year off his entry-level deal. He knows what he's going to do next year coming into camp. And, um, you know, I, I like Ryan to be a big part of the Sabres' future. I mean, this doesn't change anything. This is an 18-19 year kid we're talking about. He just, you know, hasn't been ready for the NHL. Um, and, um, you know, that's just the way it goes. You know, he'll, he'll do fine. Um, it's not even a setback. It's just what's best for his development at the moment. And uh, I think, you know, if he can continue to, um, if he can continue to, you know, bulk up a little bit, increase his upper body strength, and, uh, you know, work on his game defensively, I think he's going to be one hell of a player in the National Hockey League for a long, long time. And, you know, comes from a great hockey family, uh, great background, you know, great pedigree. And, um, you know, he's going to continue to um, to develop and uh you know, I think the Sabres have a good one here. And the, the running gag is um, Canada's top two centers at the WJC might be Buffalo's top two centers next year with Connor McDavid and uh, Sam Ryder. Hey, I want to close the door on that. Buffalo's uh, not exactly playing great, so uh, yeah, they could, they will be in the McDavid sweepstakes, whether you want to admit it or not. So um, that that could be a plus, too. You know, they get to know each other, get to form some chemistry, and then... Uh, come back and dominate with the Sabres next year. I mean, you, you never know. But that's, um, I think the Sabres made the right move there. Um, you know, rather than wait for him to get going offensively, let him go back to the dub, let him do his thing, let him, you know, gain some confidence. And then, you know, next year, you're going to have him, whoever your top pick is next year, Grigorenko will be a year further in his development. You know, Ristol Lyons, Zadorov, all those guys. So um, there's going to be plenty of young talent in Buffalo. Better days are ahead, but right now it's just an absolute grind. And, um, you know, Getting Reiner out of the, the losing situation, sending him back to the dub, is a uh, good thing for him and the Sabres for the, the short, the long term. You know, that's a good thing about Buffalo. Anyway, that's some sort episode of the power play with CJ on the Sabres sending Sam Reiner back to junior hockey. See you for episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.